record. Well, if you're serious about hitting your numbers, you, you know, you're, you're on it. You're looking at every leader in your business. You're looking at their numbers. You're trying to figure out who you need to help. Um, everybody type the word help in the chat right now, because we're going to focus on that. But I want to hear from all of you. I don't want this to be me talking at you guys today on Fridays, because Friday is Friday fund day, F-U-N-D. That's Antoine calling right now. Honey, I'm on the 12 o'clock call. I'll call you back. Hi there. I'm on the 12. Let me call you back. I know you're, that's okay. Um, put it in the, text it to me. Okay, thanks, bye. Um, but <laughs> speaking of the, the speaking of the angel, right? But Antoine's really been holding it down, right? And and I knew exactly what I needed. I don't miss that sound at all. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like, because I don't miss the bells ringing and the having to be someplace. Um, and you know what the blessing is? Uh, a lot of the teachers are going to be coming to my uh, event with Antoine and I at August 26th. And I'm just telling them, I'm going to teach you guys how to make your yearly income every single month. Um, but anyway, back to the story. I knew exactly what I needed to do to hit the, the rank, right? When I got started, when I signed up. So here's what I want you guys to understand. In order to hit your ranks, you have to help somebody. So if you haven't typed the word help in the chat, type it in the chat and write it in your notes. You need to figure out who on your team you can help, but you also have to figure out who on your team wants to be helped. <laughs> okay. That is very important. Um, and I, I looked at my organization and I knew that uh, Nasir and Hope had some really big goals. I knew that their son, Justice, he's only eight years old, is typically on every call that we're doing. So I wanted to see the people who not just needed my help, right? But I wanted to see the people who actually were willing to help other people get there as well. So um, James was kind of funny because like we were nearing the end and James was like on it. He's like, let me figure out who on my team needs to get on this train. So I want you guys to understand that if you're really serious about hitting your goals, you will look crazy to other people. And James, you can probably agree. We look kind of crazy in those, <laughs> not just in the month of June, when we were hitting our rank, we actually started in, when we knew that we were going to be merging. We started telling everybody April 26. So I want you guys to think about this. April 26, when James and I knew that NVU and BFX was going to be merging together, we told all of our leaders. So everybody had the opportunity to get to Diamond, right? Or at least to get to Champion or Sapphire because you can't wait, right? You got to be looking for who needs help. And a lot of times people say, well, I can't find anybody who wants to be in my business um, and you may not be asking them the right questions, okay? The very first question that you really truly should be asking people is, write this down. I ask it on every three-way call, every welcome call. Shout out to Larry and Denise Wells, Nasir and Hope. They have been killing it on the welcome calls in three ways. It's probably why I don't have a voice, okay? Welcome calls in three ways, and they are killing this business right now. And the question that I ask people, um, the main question I always want to know is, what do you want at this point in your life right now? Like, what is it that you want? And I always give an example. So write this down, guys. You can steal it. <laughs> you know, I go through the whole, hey, where are you located? Um, okay, if it's a welcome call, I say, hey, I want to welcome you to the family. Uh, you know, what membership did you come in at? Because then I have an idea of what their, their focus is. And then I always ask the question, what is it that you really want at this point in your life? And I always use justice as an example. I say, well, justice is eight years old and he's going through this entire NVU BFX program via his parents. So his wants and needs are a lot different than Leslie, who's 80 plus years young out of Australia her wants and needs might be different. So if you fall between 
eight and 80 plus years young, this program is for you. So you guys tell me unmute real quick. What did I just do right there with that new person that's coming into the business with the number one, with the example I've given, Justice is eight years old. Leslie is 80 plus years young. If you fall in that category, right? This program is for you. Justice wants something differently than what Leslie wants. So what do you want? What did I just do? You Ooh, took all the excuses out. Say you it. took all the excuses out. And you also let them know that you could, if an 80 year old could do it and an eight year old can do it, it's out there for you if you go after it. Absolutely. Because the first thing that people want to say is, well, I can't do network marketing. I don't have a big network. Um, they're going to give you all these excuses. So you always have to, you almost have to do it the way that I used to do my son, who's now 21. When he was three years old, it was terrible for him to go to bed, right? And I had to break him of his pacifier. So I <laughs> he shouldn't have had a pacifier anyway. I get it. But I cut his, Hello, cut the Hello, nipple Hello, off. The... Hello, Megan. Hi, Justice. How are you? What you doing, buddy? I miss you. This <laughs> is so, Justice. Real quick, while I have you on here, uh, so Justice, you actually trade, right? Yes. Okay. So, what do you love about about trading? Because you're only eight years old, but what do you what do you love about trading? When a lot of times people say that it's hard, but what do you like about it? Is that I can try and make money. I have losses, but then I can just put more money. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So you are, are you, um, are you in a demo account? Are you trading in a demo through your parents? Or are you trading in? Yeah, a I'm, in, I'm in demo. You're in a demo account. Okay. So how many years have you, when did, well, let me ask you this question, Justice. When did you actually start trading? Do you remember? Um, four years ago, four years ago. Okay. So when yes. you were, when you were four, you kind of started to learn the terminology and those types of things. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So we just want to say that we appreciate you so much because, um, I can always count on you just as you always show up, you give so much energy. Thank you so much for texting me. Um, you know, you are so engaged and involved. So Justice, what would you say? I'm going to put you on the spot. So think about this for a second. What kind of advice or suggestions would you give to adults who are nervous about being inside of our program? Envision you, BFX, and with our health and wellness and our, our, our trading, what kind of advice or suggestions would you give them if you know that they're kind of nervous about this type of program? Don't quit. <laughs> absolutely thank you so much everybody type that in the chat and we want to give a lot of love to justice thank you so much don't quit right you can make it if you don't quit in anything right if you want to be a great dancer guess what dance <laughs> eventually you'll be good at it if you want to be good at at networking then network there's all kind of events that go on if you guys go to the the internet right and you just type in your city and type in networking events they're going to pop up they're everywhere so there are no excuses i'm going to show you guys really quickly thank you so much justice thank you larry because you're absolutely right if an eight-year-old can do it anybody can do it right if someone who's 80 plus years young who may not have been in the technological world can do it Anybody can do it in this program if you put forth some effort and you don't quit, right? So I went to the internet and I looked up networking events, Indianapolis. Watch what happened, okay? Literally, when people tell me that, well, I have a crappy network and I can't do this business, well, then get out of your crappy network because if you don't, then guess what? Somebody is saying the same thing about you. 
<laughs> they're thinking about you and saying, my network is crappy and they're talking about you, right? So you got to get out of the network that's crappy. Although there's only 27 people on this call, I don't have a crappy network. I don't because I've made it a point to meet new people. I made it a point to meet Larry and Denise, and then they're introducing me to, to new people. But I want to show you guys, if you go to the internet and you literally just type search more events, there's an event at a monthly luncheon networking event, right? There is a, this is my coach calling. Hey, Danny, I'm on a Zoom. Can I call you right back? Okay, bye. Um, uh, Circle City, there's, there's, I, I can indie black professionals quarterly event on the 23rd. Guess what? I'm going to be going to these events right before my August 26th event that we're having. Um, so write this down guys in Indianapolis, uh, Antoine and I, uh, and two of our other business partners, John Nichols and Tyrone are doing our first big August 26th. MBU event. Uh, we're going to zoom David into that event. He has a corporate meeting, but he said that he would step out and he would zoom in. Uh, we're doing this bit event really big. You guys don't have to do really super big events, but we're going to do this one big. So if you know anybody in the area, you want to send them. And what I'm doing is I'm going to go to these events that you see right here. And I got some just some flyers and some cards that Antoine made, they look phenomenal. And I'm going to go to these events and hand out cards. But look at all these places just in August, guys. And then going into September where I have an opportunity to meet some new people, okay? So I just wanna give you that tidbit, write that down, go to the internet, type in your city, type in networking events, get dressed up, take your business cards, don't throw up all over people about your program, you have to type this in the chat, guys. You have to go to these events and you have to listen. That's it. You have to ask the right questions and listen. Ask them, so, hey, so what do you do? So where are, where are you at in your life right now? Like, what are, what are some things that you're really wanting at this stage in your life, right? Write that question down. What are some things that you want at this stage in your life? So I'm gonna ask you guys, unmute really quickly. And I know I ask you this question all the time, but I'm going to ask again, unmute. What do you want at this stage in your life right now? Financial security. And who is that talking? Go ahead, introduce yourself. Andre. Andre. So Andre. Las Vegas. Thank you, Andre. So you want financial security. What? It, real quick, what does that look like, though? I'm sorry, you broke up. I'm sorry. So what does that look like, financial security, real quick for you? Uh, being able to help out with my uh, mortgage and uh, 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 being able to answer the phone call, not avoiding any bill collectors, and then also be able to, to travel and, and do the things that I want to do uh, with my family. Perfect. Right. So those are the things that you have to think about every day. Miss Teresa, go ahead, jump in. What does it look like to you? What do you want right now? I want to be able to travel more, travel more and have a sitter for my fish and upgrade my house with a, a long lap pool. <laughs> and that's about it. I love and it. And pay off both of my mortgages. <laughs> Perfect. Now, Miss Teresa, do you have that little automated feeder for your fish? Oh, no, I don't. I gotta get it. My daughter, she has a turtle named Terry, Terry the turtle. <laughs> and a couple oh fish. go to Amazon and get it's a and it's super cheap. Get an automated fish feeder. It just rotates every like whatever you set the timer to. It even has a, a light on there like it can turn the light on and off. She was gone for a month and I didn't feed her fish or oh my fish. god oh and i'm always on amazon thank you yes <laughs> you don't even need a fish sitter. i will purchase that today <laughs> automation automation <laughs> oh wow thank you so much <laughs> you're welcome you're welcome so ladies and gentlemen listen i want you guys to really truly start asking people the right questions get out to these networking events get a new network 
meet new people, ask them about themselves. People love to talk about themselves, okay? Also, you want to get yourself some, some business cards. I know that we're in the digital age, but most people are still very much old school and they would like to have something physical in their hands, okay? And then listen, get a meeting going in your area. Uh, and true story, when I was working with uh, Robert Dean, multimillionaire, had 600,000 people on his team. We did our first event, Game Loop, mobile games. I didn't even play games. And we only had 20 people at the first event. And I think 15 of them were already in the business. No lie, right? And I'm standing there like, now this guy is a multimillionaire. He's got a big network and there's only 20 people here, right? And same thing when we did our first launch call, 20 people and, and Eight of us were already in the business. Every single time we went to a new business, that's what it looked like. And he would always say, give me 90 days, right? And 90 days to our next game loot event in the same city, not in the same space, we had over 500 people in the room, standing room only. And I've, I've watched it happen. You got to start somewhere. And the problem is, is that a lot of people, you just, you think it's going to happen big for you and it doesn't work that way, right? You need to just build it and they will come. You need to just host a Zoom or a physical event and invite everybody you can and whoever shows up, shows up, right? Um, I don't know how many people are going to be at this event, August 26th. I just know there's going to be at least one new guest there. And if that means I sign up one person, then I'm winning at that point, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So I want us to really, truly get out of our comfort zone. Do what justice said. Don't quit. If you can be here 12 to 36 months from now, promise you, you're going to make way more money than you've spent in this program. You're going to meet a lot of great people. You're going to grow as a professional. You're going to Stop being nervous about presenting. Some of you guys on here are still not presenting because you're nervous. And guess what? You're only nervous. No, you tell me, unmute. Why are you nervous to present? Somebody tell me. I got all the time in the world. I'll wait. Well, I've been presenting. I've been doing home parties and I have an event tomorrow at a place. Actually, it's a group called The Diamonds that I'm doing a presentation for. It's a local charity group. It's actually my sister-in-law's group. So she asked me to come and do the presentation. But the first time I did it, I just actually, I, one of them, I played one of your videos and paused it and asked, had them ask questions. And then I started talking about the sprays and the and we had samplings of the alive juice. And once they got that juice in them, they, they started really asking questions and the question answers I didn't have. I had the little info sheets there that tells what each spray does. And then, you know, we talked about, um, we looked at the conversation plans and everything like that. So hopefully we'll get some people added in, but you just gotta step out and do it. <laughs> I was afraid to do it, but I started setting up and selling these products and people love the feeling they got from the the spray like the empowered that's the only one we sample other than the alive mm -hmm. and people start talking they start talking and spreading the word and one thing led to another so so what i hear you saying is you you just have to do it because a lot of times people are nervous about presenting because they don't present i know willie you unmuted on there and that was that that's what I was alluding to. Go ahead, Willie. Jump on in there. Thank you, Miss Teresa, for sharing that, for jumping in. Hey Megan, it's Daria. <laughs> Daria. I was trying to change it, but I couldn't change his name. But yeah. Now as for Willie, he's not afraid to um present. You give him a mic, he'll go. But for me, I'm the the opposite. I have to be prepared, prepared, prepared. But what helps me is similar to what the lady just said, you just have to get out there and do it. And what we did just impromptu, we invited about four or five people to our home and only one couple showed up and we did, we played your video. That's what we did. 
and we got the um the conversation going so they're getting their money together because they they see the value of it and then what I do now is I make a rule when someone comes to visit me they have to get a shot so <laughs> I love it yep you gotta you can't leave here unless you get a shot so of course people automatically think it's um alcohol which is which is cool because then that's another conversation but that that's what we're doing and um, we're gearing up to um, have another, um, to do our first in-home in, -home in um, September, in between um, our traveling. So we're going to do it. We're well, gonna do it in and I just want to say, like, you know, it's the yin and yang. I know Antoine's on here right now, and I'm not great at the marketing side of things. And, and but now he's you know, out there and promoting and, and talking about the program and getting the visuals out there as well. And, you know, he is really like killing it. I mean, he, he is. And I, and I told him that yesterday, he's really holding down the fort and he's super excited about this event. I know he's on here, but I don't know if he can talk or not, but um, you just have to step out of your comfort zone and you have to get out there and do it. Uh, Glenn, Glenn said, press and play, right? You just got to press and play. If you don't know how to do something and you're uncomfortable, uh, honestly, you'll get less uncomfortable when you just do it, right? That's where growth is going to happen. So I want to encourage all of you guys to just do the little things, the basic things. And what you don't know how to do, you kind of have to just jump out there and believe that the parachute is going to open, okay? Okay. September, um, August, right? Everybody type August 26th in the, in the chat. If you guys could do us a favor, we want you to, you should be focused on getting new business partners in new cities. That's, that's the goal. So when I can't be in Houston, I know that there's, I have a business partner, a couple of them in Houston. I can't be in Atlanta, but I just got a new business partner in Atlanta. I can't be in Australia, but it only takes one person in that city. So you got to figure out what's going on and envision you and figure out if you know some folks who know some folks in that area and promote, right? So I want all of you guys to type the word promote in the chat. Um, we have all kinds of videos. So hopefully you guys are in the, in the Sapphire group and we would love for you guys to share uh, the videos on your page, on your Instagram, social media, and just let them know we'll take care of them. Now, here's the great thing. When you send people to other events, for example, you send them to our August 26th event, make sure that they put your name down. Uh, believe it or not, I had a big event in Atlanta and Sally put out an ad. Antoine's been doing this too. He's been putting out ads and there hasn't been a day, maybe one day where someone didn't respond to our ad, our social media ads, and say that they're going to come to the event. You can literally spend, uh, Antoine, I don't know if you can unmute, but I think he spent like 15 bucks or maybe something like that to run an ad for like 15 days with our social media, uh, with our videos that he's been making, okay? Sally did the same thing, and she's in Australia, and she had- I can't can you hear me. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Hi, honey. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can. How are you? It was, it was 30 bucks, actually, for, um, I think it reached five to 6,000 people in a 50-mile in a radius. But what I was going to say is that you put it out there so, you know, that, that you can share the videos on the social links. Just don't like. And that's where people make the mistake of engagement. You like, you like what's going on, great, you show a heart. Do a comment. The comments are the engagement, and they're in this. It's really, it helps you guys out too. It helps anybody out because the more you comment, the more people read in the comments, and they see you, and it boosts your followership too. A uh, followership too, because they will, if you got something interesting to say, they say, "Well, who is this?" They go to your site, and then they start following you. That's how I got a lot of my followers. Every time somebody post something i'll like it and i'll put something either it's a fire emoji or i'll put something relevant but just don't like try to engage with it too it's going to help everybody out that's it thank you honey thank you so much and he's so good at it like i'm working on it but it's 
It's like and comment. That's why our ATM group, if you guys want to join our ATM Facebook group that we're streaming live in right now, it's called ATM because you're supposed to add a person to the group, tag them, right? And message, right? And, and start to comment. It boosts your algorithms on social media. And then people are going to start to, to know who you are, just like Antoine said. So uh, someone said, how do you get the Facebook advertisement for $30? I'll have him. You guys can go to YouTube though, and and he might be able to unmute. Yes. Well, Facebook is Meta. Meta owns uh, WhatsApp. They own uh, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, you can pretty much go off any platform, um, either Facebook, Instagram, and do a post or a reel, and it'll ask you, do you want to connect it to both accounts? Once you do that, you have an option to boost the reel. So it'll, it'll say, and they'll tell you sometimes like, good job, this video's done this many views or, or whatever, do you wanna boost it? Sometimes it'll automatically ask you. And then once you um, say, yeah, I wanna boost it, they'll tell you pretty much how much it's gonna cost, how many days, how far do you want it to go out? Is it gonna be a regional boost? Is it gonna be a, a worldwide boost? Or, and then they'll ask you what the, what the purpose of the boost is. Do you want it for more website visits? Do you want it to for a product? They they pretty much ask you what you want it for. So um, yeah, and then you you know you put your card in and that's it. Thank you so much, honey. And for us dinosaurs, right? I'm gonna type. How do I boost my Facebook page? Right? I'm telling you guys. We live in the digital age. If you guys get a chance, uh, go to Netflix and watch the Netflix special, Social Dilemma. Man, your mind will be blown, right? Um, it's eye-opening. It's a little disturbing at the same time, but it's all about social social media. And social media is a business, right? Or it, it, It's a huge business. And when you think you're just, posting stuff and people are going to see it, they're not going to see it because social media is a business and you more people will see your stuff. There's a billion people on Facebook and nobody's seeing your stuff when you're posting if you're not really truly treating it like a business, all right? I always say, don't take offense to this, but I'm like, you either got to be showing your butt or showing your butt, <laughs> if you know what I mean, both ways for people to really, truly be attracted to you on social media. So if you don't want to do that, you don't want to act a darn fool and you don't want to be taking it off for people to pay attention to you, then you're going to have to pay for ads, right? Uh, but go to YouTube, guys, and learn how to do this stuff on YouTube, right? They're going to tell you how to do it, right? They're going to tell you how to uh, get more people to engage with you. So that's going to be super, super important um, if you guys are using social media. Okay. All right, real quick. And then I want to go ahead and take some questions. Uh, so just to kind of go back over some easy things that all of you could be doing. Number one, like, comment, share people's stuff. Comment is most important. You also want to make sure that you are doing, write this down, a welcome call when you bring in a new person into the business and make sure that whoever you're doing the welcome call with understands the process. Their job is to figure out how they can get that person to stick and stay until they get paid, right? So you got to support them. You got to get their business off the ground right away. You got to get them serious about knocking out some of these ranks. But more importantly, somebody type this word in the chat. You got to get people paid People don't leave when they're making money. No matter how much they tell you, they love the products and whatever, life is going to get in the way and they're going to not think it's as important. But guess what? If they're getting paid in this company, even a little bit, enough to cover their membership, they're going to pay their membership. You got to get these people paid. So how do you do that? You do welcome calls so they feel loved and appreciated and a part of the team and a part of the family, and you ask them the right questions so you can figure out what you need to do to help them be more successful. You also need to make sure that you're doing three-way calls to get people in the business. You're not in this thing by yourself. So, you know, if you want to close somebody out or you just tell them, 
listen, I have all the answers, but I want to make sure that I get everything answered for you. So let me get my partner. You got two minutes, get somebody on the phone that is going to answer their questions. And then guys get out of your comfort zone and you got to start going to these networking events. It is not okay. <laughs> if you've been in network marketing for all these years and you don't have 12 to 15 business partners right now, personally, right? Personally, 12 to 15 business partners. If you don't have that, then I need you to go to some networking events and meet some new people because they're all there to do exactly what you're doing. Meet new people, but let them talk about themselves. And then you can chime in and say, well, listen, I got a great business as well. Uh, love for you to take a look at it. I don't know if you're free at one o'clock Eastern or 7 p.m. Eastern, but I'd love to invite you to my business uh, business call. It's super short uh, and I'll call you afterwards to get some feedback. I rarely go into a whole monologue of what my business is about. I wanna use the tools and get them on board, right? Uh, and get them talking about themselves. Uh, guys, remember the other day I told you that somebody reached out to me on YouTube and he's in Atlanta. Is anybody from Atlanta on this call right now? I know we got some business partners there, but he called me and he was like, I've been following you for a long time. Uh, I'm a networker. I know the game. I know all of it, but I'm ready to get serious right now. I'm ready to make some money. My, I'm trying to get married my home life is changing. He was like, I'm ready to, to roll. And I, I said, okay, well, listen, do you want to call at one o'clock or seven o'clock? Which call is going to work best for you? And then let's talk afterwards so I can get your feedback, All right? I'm not going to go into the whole spiel. I just say we get paid daily, weekly, monthly. We have five products great products, but uh, the money's there. What are you most interested in at this stage in your life? And he was like, at this point, I love products, but I got to make some money. I'm here for the opportunity. I'm like, mm, yes, but you know how I got them? Because I always post on YouTube. <laughs> and if you don't have a YouTube channel, shame on you, because that's where people go to find businesses. And I found some of my best leaders right now that I still have in my business from YouTube, right? But make your video short. All right, guys, any questions that you have for me, go ahead and unmute. It is 1241. Let me copy this and put it in the chat. Any questions for me? Okay, tell me one more time, how you said how to create the YouTube. Um, go to YouTube and then I want you to type in how do I create a YouTube channel? <laughs> That's how I learned. Thank you. Guys, I, I always tell people, I promise you, I am low tech, high check. That's why I, I was so grateful that Antoine decided to do this business with me because he was my missing link. But I still got to 100,000 a month without using social media, except I did use YouTube, okay? Go and type in how to create a YouTube channel and watch it on your phone and set it up on your computer. It's going to take you no time. Can you guys see my screen right now? Yes. Okay. That's all you need to do. And then listen, here's my YouTube channel. And you guys get a chance. You're going to see people can find me. So I upload my videos. It's super simple to do that as well. But you guys look at all I do is, is post. Back in the day, though, when I was in uh, Tradera, I got to post some shorter videos. But I had 500,000 views on one of my videos in Tradera because everybody was sharing uh, the video, right? So people can kind of go through and, and guys, I got some some pretty good trainings if you go all the way through my stuff for years right they are excellent too oh my god there are there fees to upload the videos so is it like a one-time flat fee oh no youtube's free 
to me. Okay. Got it. Thank you. This is free. And all you have to do is like get on a Zoom is what I do. I either get on a Zoom and record something. And then I click this button because I, I have it in my YouTube channel. I click upload video and I save the video to my desktop and I just upload it, right? I select a file. Once you select a file, then you can just upload it right to YouTube. And then like, for example, let's do this one, okay? I don't think that was a video. <laughs> that was a picture. Um, but anyway, you just upload it. And then once you upload it, it just asks you a few questions and boom, it's it's right there. Okay. And Super, whoever thank makes you. the most, you're welcome. Whoever makes the most YouTube videos, you become the face of NVU. That's how I found Bass Grant. That's how James Wiggins, him and I got connected uh, because I was posting stuff on YouTube. And that's how we ended up in BFX. Um, and he knew that I was in BFX because he was watching my videos. And then that's how we, we got connected. So it's little things you guys can do if you, you know, want to get some new business. There's a, there's some small things you can do. Anyone else? I just posted our Instagram uh, video that Antoine made too. I just posted it in the, oh, can't get to it, in the group as well. Anyone else have any questions? Hi, hi, Megan. How are you? Hey, Karen. How are you, ma'am? I'm good. I got a, this is like a silly question, but no, um, some of my uh, teammates or members, um, their VV kit says active until certain date, but the date has passed. How do you fix that? I know you can go in there and change your smart shift and all of that, but I don't understand the VV kit. Um, no. that's a really good question. Um, do I just set, take a snapshot of it and have them send a support ticket and just say, because they may, it may be active and it, the widget might just be off. So that's a little screenshots. Do, is their VB kit active though? Is it like, are they making money in the company? Well, yes, they're making money, but I think it's holding them up to, um, move forward in making really making money you know it's like kind of like they're at a standstill and I think they should be moving forward okay so soon because it might just be the widget they may their VB kit might be active you can always see at the front of their screen and see if their their membership is there what what product did they come in at with they, um, they came in as a premiere so their VB kit though is free for the year so they shouldn't okay. be getting charged for it Okay, and also um, the same thing with if they came in as a premiere, they shouldn't they shouldn't have to um, buy the twenty four dollar thing no. either, right? Okay. No, All and right. if they have been doing that, then they need to send a support ticket and say, "I bought the premiere pack." Like, tell them, don't ask. Like, I bought the premiere pack. The VB kit is included for the year. I need a refund for whatever. I just had somebody else do it because they were getting okay. like $48 back or something like that because they had been getting charged for that. So, um, and just remember, well, you already know this, Karen, but with all the merges over the last like two months or so, guys, you got to be on your back office. You got to be looking because programming, if they touch one thing, it could break something else and they won't know it's broken unless you fix, unless you tell them. So, I'm on my stuff, looking at it, making sure everything is calculating correctly. And then you guys just send support tickets and say, hey, I need a refund for $24.97 times three because I have a premiere pack and it's included for the year, okay? So just stay on that, okay? All right, listen, last thing I wanna show you guys which you've seen before, and then we're getting off of here because it's 1248. Um, oh, I want to show you guys how you, if you use PowerPoint, this is how I make my fancy PowerPoints, right? I just go find pictures, which you guys could do. Watch, I'm going to do a blank one. Somebody give me a, a picture idea, right? Give me a flyer 
or a, a PowerPoint idea because everybody's always like, man, your PowerPoints are so cool and blah, blah, blah. And it's simple. Give me, give me a topic. Give me something. Swimming. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go to just up here to, to Google, right? I'm just going to go to Google. I'm going to go to, okay. I love this one, right? It's the shark and the goldfish, right? Are you a shark or a goldfish? Sharks go find food. Goldfish wait to be fed. So I asked my students, are you a shark or a goldfish? Are you going to go after what you want? Or are you going to sit around like a, like Teresa's very well taken care of fish <laughs> and, and wait for somebody to feed them? Okay. So I could type in here, <clears throat> right? Just keep swimming, right? I'm going to type, I'm going to look for a shark and I'm going to put PNG. Because PNG is going to give me typically a transparent background, right? So let me get a go to images and let me find this shark looks nice. Okay. You see how he's, he's transparent if I move him? Watch what happens. I'm just going to move him right over to my PowerPoint. Booyah. Now let me go find a goldfish. PNG gold fish PNG. It's kind of cute. Now, sometimes it, I don't think that background's transparent, but I'm going to show you guys how you can make a transparent background. This is where you guys can start doing trainings on your own, right? This one isn't transparent, I don't think. And I'll know because watch, I'm going to drag it to my PowerPoint. Uh oh, drag. Oh, he is transparent. Now, if it weren't transparent, I could just go right over here to remove dot bg. Write that down. I'm just giving you guys some ideas. If you want to do some trainings, you don't have to be fancy. Just make like two or three slides and get on a Zoom and talk, or I'll show you one more place you can get on. But you can go to remove dot bg and drag the picture and it'll take the background off of it right like this one right here see this ball i'm going to drag it in there because it's not transparent and it's going to make it transparent now i'm going to just download it to my desktop i know it seems challenging but it's really not right super simple and i can drag this stuff right over to uh oh, that wasn't the right one. Drag it right over there and there's no background on it, right? You guys see that? And then you can just make little cool trainings and maybe your team, there's something going on with your team and they're not doing what they need to be doing or whatever. Um, my business partner, Robert, he always used to say, I'll just get them in training. <laughs> right? And then you can start asking questions about one slide. You can do a whole slide. I just click text and I'm just going to make this a little bigger, 50. And you're never going to get good at this stuff if you don't do it, right? Goldfish versus shark. I don't know. You can make a, any kind of training you want with cool PowerPoints, okay? And then if you're on, on PowerPoint, there's a play button. I can go right here to where it says um, record. So I'm going to go right up here at the top. Can you guys see that? And it says, uh oh, I got to find it. Play, play recording slideshow, right? Oh, Welcome. That's not what I meant to do. My bad. I'm going to delete that. Hold on, hold the phone. Um, clear, right? Let me clear my recording. So let's say that I wanted to just take my PowerPoint and I wanted to record it. I could literally click. I'm messing up. My bad. Uh, where is it? Share, share, play. I can go up here to play and click record. 
And do you guys see, like, I could just sit here by myself and record a whole training and then save it to my desktop and upload it to YouTube. Does that make sense? I know that was a lot. I'll do a video on it for you guys. Okay. But there's so many things that you guys could be doing to put yourself out there for NVU. Just get on a Zoom like this and talk about NVU and upload it to YouTube. Okay. So we're going to hop off of here. Um, Inspire to Sapphire. Uh, we, I did this training before. So if you guys get a chance to check it out, I really just talked about what you need to do to go Sapphire, go wide, sign up as many people as you can go wide, launch their business, go wide, enroll excited people only, then go deep. Who are their leaders? Do a vision party, launch your new people, stay plugged in and show the plan and promote. Okay. So we're going to hop off here because it's 1254. And I said, I'm going to only be on here for an hour. <laughs> moving forward. So thank you guys so much for, for getting on. If you would ever like for me to do some kind of training, like you want to know what I do to get my people in the business, I will tell you it's basic stuff. And it's basically what I just showed you right here. I do a lot of trainings. I make myself available. I'm constantly putting out information and content until some shark bites, right? <laughs> so thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Um, champion, go champion, go champion, go champion. Reach for Sapphire, you'll go champion. Okay. Peace and blessings, everybody. And we will see you on the one o'clock call that starts in six minutes, gets or five minutes, get some guests on that particular call. Okay. Peace and blessings. Let me know if you guys need me. I'm here. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, everybody. See you later. Thank you. Bye. See ya.